shit. Bugger that up. She is big. The size of that tail. Reading the other day, was it four of their 380s <laughs> that they've uh, disposed of? The Emirates, I think four of them. Right, now here comes the Max. Oh. Look how big the engines are. Still flat at the bottom, but comparably, comparatively bigger uh, than the old CFM56 engine. And you can see how high above the wing they, uh, they protrude, you know, uh, above the leading edge, which is what the problem was with the, the whole problem with the aircraft's uh, flight characteristics being so um, damaged in terms of its, uh, its um, you know, wanting to constantly pitch upwards, then pitch downwards, then pitch upwards, it's it or it's it or. Uh, yeah, as, as, as regards the uh, video, um, sorry about that. <laughs> With the language, so shout out that, as Jerry would say. She is a beast though. Look at the size of her compared to the other aircraft. And there goes the old lot 737 Max. Good to see him back in the air again. Nice colour scheme too. All right, I think we'll catch this one going up and then we'll call it a day. Now you can see also the difference in the APU, uh, the outlet. Uh, in, in terms of uh, aircraft recognition, the MAX engines, for a start, have that, um, have the, what, what's that, Jilly? Is it? Oh, we've got to wait for that then. Uh, the, um... The, uh, the engine uh, cowls, the, the, the aft of the engine cowls, have that scalloped effect, much like the Dreamliner, Trent 1000, and the Gen X engines. Um, of course, it has the, uh, of course, it has the, um, Hello, 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 what have they been called over for? The split scimitar winglet, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, also um, noticeable on other uh, variants of the 737, the 900 I think it is, um, but uh, it has a slightly different design to it. It, uh, it doesn't have that trailing tip to it um, like the 757. Uh, winglet does but uh, has a squared off winglet but that is the most noticeable part of the max and of course um, the other thing to look out for is the APU uh, the exhaust uh, 
um, outlet at the back is much more Dreamliner-esque. You'll see from this... And if you want to know what APU stands this, for, uh, it's Auxiliary Power that Unit. That seeing now. That's got big on winglets on it. Much smaller engines, no scallops. And you'll see the uh, APU is much more elongated, or should I say... Um, more seven triple seven s type uh, APU on it. So it's a squared off APU. There you go. And you can see how small the engines are. The uh, the engine pylons themselves uh, are not in any way obtrusive uh, towards the wing. Whereas you can see here. Uh, the leading edge of the engine cowl of the, uh, is actually up higher uh, than, the, than, the, than the leading edge of the wing, which is what was the cause of all the issues. Uh, but, hey, there we go. Oh, look, look. She's had, a, she's had a long day, and she's off for a rest. Look, Jilly. It's, it's a he, is it? Oh, okay. He's off for a rest. A well-earned rest. I think we've seen her going in and out three okay, times today. <laughs> that little B A J. I love that scheme. Okay, sleepy nan eyes up in the B E A, uh, the old original B E A Trident uh, hangers, uh, which is up at the other end of the airfield, which you can't see from here. And you can see uh, why the A three, the the. The Neo variant of the um, A320, 321, etc. Uh, you can see the engine cowl um, doesn't go above the leading edge of the of the wing. Um, it's got a lot of ground clearance, and obviously, I'd imagine that Boeing may have looked at extending the undercarriage on the 737, but because um, She's got such a stubby undercarriage on her. Um, that was the reason why I had to lift the engines up. And redesign the engine cowls themselves. So a whole load of redesign going on there with the, uh, with the uh, 737 uh, Max. Which will become a lot more apparent when she turns on you'll see um, how how much they've had to eat into the, the, uh, the engine pylon in order to make sure that they get the ground clearance that they need because of the larger engine cow. Yeah, I want to get a model of this as well because Vesda actually have, do a model of the Max. There you have it, quite clear there. It does look a nice engine, little kit too. Uh, itself is actually the engine um, pylon protrudes upwards. I do like that colour scheme. Normally downwards, which is what you see there. As you can see there. That's a pretty, you know, normal pylon. That you expect. When I talk about the pylon, folks, you're talking about the piece that the engine hangs from on the wing. If the pylon is attached to the wing, and then um, that is then what the engine hangs off of. But you can see there quite clearly uh, that the engine sort of like interferes with that airflow over the wing, which is why they've had to make all the adjustments. It's into it. Good night. Hey, thank you. And good night. Plans for our today. Good little fella. So Vero, we believe, folks, is only t has only got a turnaround time of around about 20 minutes. So we'll have to see what happens there.
Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> what happened? Cat on keyboard. Lidero due out at 7 o'clock. Yeah, there we go. 20 minutes, isn't it? So that's what we're going to wait for, folks. And then I'm off. And they're off. I'm putting a special prize! Oh, hello. Hey, 757 on the push. Nice. Cat on keyboard. Oh, Sherry, when are you on for the old 757? 757 now on radar. Cats, maybe cats operating in gangs. Who's that? Who's 330? Who's Emmy? Yeah, but hey, Iberia's 330, right? And there she is, there she is. Iberia's 330 on radar, folks. That video made no noise at all, didn't it? It was just completely and utterly silent. Um, which is a great advert, I have to say. Um, she was probably empty as an empty thing could be. But even so. Okay, here comes your max, ladies and gents. Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to do the, uh, this. Yeah, I think I've decided this will be the final one. Left, I don't know. 